I've been reminiscing on my um, quarantine playlist and I just love my playlist, but I tried to play this song for y'all one time because this is, this is my song right now. This is the song. What's poppin'? It's your girl today B. Welcome back to my channel. It's been a while once again. I was on the consistent wave and I kind of lost it, but that's okay. Back and better as always. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you guys are in good health. Um, and yeah, if this is your first time seeing my face, welcome. My name is T-Day, aka T-Day B, was truly dig. And I make vlogs here and there. I talk on the camera here and there. I talk on the mic here and there but go ahead and follow my socials down below and yeah <laughs> um today's video actually is gonna be about some unpopular opinions i might have or just hot topics that people wanted me to talk about i know a few months ago i asked i was just like y'all drop the hot topics what y'all want me to talk about let's talk about it let's talk because i'm here to talk okay talk <laughs> So I have a list of some submissions. So I'm just gonna read the topics and give my two cents because that's what I know how to do best, you did. So let's get started. Just a disclaimer before I begin this video, everything is my opinion. If you agree, that's great. If you disagree, that's great. But at the end of the day, it's not fact. It's all my opinion from the mouth of Cheetah B. This is my page, this is my YouTube, this is my voice, and I'm gonna speak on it. If you disagree or agree, take it how it is. Period. Still gonna like and comment, subscribe though. You still gonna do it. You still gonna like, you still gonna comment, you still gonna subscribe. The first topic, I'm looking at my laptop by the way, but the first topic that I was told to speak on was fashion trends that need to die. So I'll give you just a little disclaimer like, I'm into fashion, you know, I'm not out on the runway doing fashion week wearing all the latest things you get, but. I have a keen eye for fashion and I have a nice fashion sense and I like people with fashion sense. So my eye is very particular about some things, but the first and foremost thing that needs to die, that I think already died, that I hope is dead, are those bulky, chunky, destruction, construction, ag aggressive, bulky Balenciaga shoes. Balenciaga <laughs> Every time you walk it's not pleasant it's not cute it's not pretty but yeah some people can rock them some they're okay like but as a collective in the bin just in the bin it needs to go ladies ladies i love y'all with the tops with the i want to say bobby pins now paper clips why am i saying paper clips with the pins safety pin the tops with the safety pin, the top would be broken into two. And then you put safety pin. Bad people. Free it. It's ah, aesthetic. Okay, we get it. Nah. In the bin. Put it with the belongs the uncles. In the bin. Take it away. <laughs> it's I just don't see like I, I just just wear the just wear the shirt. Just just wear the top. Come on top. Nice top. You can't just shoot. And then piece by piece you pin together back with I keep wanting to say bobby pin. Safety pin. <laughs> yeah. Fair enough for me. I think that's it though when it comes to fashion. For now. One thing I will say about the fashion industry though, for the local people, support your local people doing the thing in fashion. I will say black business does not mean cheap business. Again. Black business does not equate to cheap, low quality business. It takes us two times the work. I'm saying we, cause I'm a black business, but I'm not in the fashion, but you, you get it. Just, just know like what you're paying for is what you're going to get. You're getting quality. You're getting quality customer service. You're getting exclusive, exclusiveness, you know, and 
these brands and businesses, specifically black businesses that are in the fashion industry are working two times as hard to push out what any other regular company is doing. So you really have to give them props for what they're doing because it's not easy. Two times the amount of work, two times the amount of labor, you know, like it's it ain't easy. We all know it. It ain't easy. So support your people where you can, even if it's just a simple like, love, share, comment, whatever on their socials. If you can't buy, just share the support. It means a lot to them. I know it does coming from a business perspective. I know it does. So support your brand, support your businesses. Simple. Next. So someone asked me to talk about how to deal with fake friends. The first thing that honestly truly comes to mind is like if they're fake why are they your friend but i guess it happens like over time in a relationship thankfully i've never had to deal with fake friends to my knowledge but yeah how to deal with them um for me personally i'm a very upfront confront the situation head first knock it out of the way don't hold anything back person because it's like the more you hold in, the more they'll never know. And somebody will never know anything about you unless you tell them, you know? If you're feeling some type of way about something or someone and you don't speak up about it, it'll just continue to just rest in you. And so one day it will come out in a way that you don't want it to come out. So the best way is to kind of just handle it as soon as possible. So you're not doubting and dwelling in it, you get. But um, in order to avoid fake friends, I guess, in essence, you can't really avoid them. I guess they're unavoidable because you just, you just never know but I feel like you can be aware and see the signs kind of thing, but that's just me. But how to deal with them. Get them out ASAP. You hate, like At the end of the day, like if you tell one of your friends how you're feeling, how you feel about them straight up, and if they care about you to the point that they're able to consider changing or consider to think about what they're doing in order to change, that shows that they care. And if they don't, they might want to drop them. <laughs> I mean, friends come, friends come and go in this life. Like, you'll find that group of friends, you'll find that one friend, you'll find that four friends, those four friends, you know? And you kind of just, you kind of go about life making friends, losing friends. And it's okay, it's all part of the process you get. So, moral of the story, how to deal with them. Deal with the situation head on. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's the first thing that comes to mind. Deal with the situation head on. So my next topic that I was told to speak on that I have a little bit of an unpopular opinion about is this uh, pyramid scheme. Octagon, trapezoid, pyramid, diamond. Whatever shape you want to make it into that scheme. Obviously, we're in the month of June. I think I put this um, Q&A out in like a couple months ago when I was asked, telling people to ask me what I should talk about. And thankfully it has died but i don't want to see it again <laughs> like the same concept appears every four to six months like y'all ain't tired before you know it, it will be a star they'll say star scheme oh my goodness if you just tap in you'll get to the top of the star yeah yeah you yeah, yeah, yeah. it's like it's the same stuff over and over again like y'all ain't tired i, I just I'm not understanding <laughs> y'all not tired yet and a popular opinion forex traders all you people i'm adding you i'm calling you out i'm sorry um stop dming me i'm not interested just putting that out for the record in the beginning i thought forex was a scheme i still kind of think it is but that's my opinion oh, my linkedin professional linkedin you be thinking people want to connect yeah connections cool and then they send you this one same it's the same message very generic message with the same keywords they'll be saying work from home your own hours entrepreneurial success yeah, yeah yo 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 and it's like you already know what it is it's forex stop messaging me stop messaging me on my linkedin like we're supposed to make connections we're supposed to link up Make connections, build brands, go global. And you're here talking about Forex. Don't come to me with it. Those of you that are doing Forex, doing your thing, making your money, I kudos to you. I, I commend you for, for your success. And I pray that you continue to blow and you continue to go up. But it ain't just, it's just not for me. So stop asking me about it. <laughs> like, and the thing about people with Forex, let me tell you, what I see a lot is that 
they'll literally bash you for not doing what they're doing it's just like well well thanks i appreciate it like damn like you'll say you're not interested and then they'll be posting posting like this could be you but you decided not to make money from home and sit on your ass all day and i'm just looking like I, so sorry <laughs> like, i'm not interested but yeah money scheme pyramid scheme forks all y'all in the bin next next caller i'm not interested <laughs> next buzzing topic somebody asked about was doo -doo -doo, jalaf wars between ghana and niger so as you know if you don't know i'm actually nigerian i think i said that already on Yoruba. you get but um you, you probably got the accent, you know, you got, <laughs> but my question is, is there really a war? You know, I feel like I say this all the time, like people, like, of course, there's that fun battle, like, gotta jalaf, yeah, 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 not jalaf, yeah, 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 but like, it doesn't matter where it comes from, no cap, it don't matter. Okay, it kind of matters, but it really don't matter. It's about who makes it. There could be a bomb ass Sierra Leone making jollof rice. Not that I've heard of one, but you never know, you know. And it doesn't—it doesn't matter. Moral story: It doesn't matter where it comes from. I will say that I've had ganja jollof and ganja jollof is storage. Okay, this coming from my Nigerian. Okay. What, bro? What are you talking about, man? Ganja jollof is not that bad. It's actually very torch. <laughs> I said it. That's it end of discussion don't at me don't fight me yes i know nigerian jollof can be great nigerian jollof also has its flaws depending on who makes it depending on who makes it but ganja jollof so far i've had it so far i've been enjoying it <laughs> mm, i've been enjoying i've been enjoying that jollof it's, it's nice style i've been enjoying it. so don't don't sleep on the Ghanaians, man they know what they're doing nigerians know what we're doing it's about who makes it if your mom jollof, jollof is nasty you better Say mommy. You better ask your mommy about her jollof rice. Next time you taste it, you better taste that tin and dip it. Dip in it. Think about it. Think. Before you go and say, oh, Niger jollof is better. Because if you're only tasting your mama's rice and you're not expanding your taste buds elsewhere, baby, what are you doing? That's actually everything I had for this video. Um, this video was very long overdue. Like I said, probably for the umpteenth time. Um, I asked my Instagram people to hit me up with questions, topics. That was probably like in March or April, if I look back. And it's June now, so you see how time has flown, but all is well. Um, definitely let me know if you liked what you heard, what you saw, if you didn't agree, if you did agree, whenever, talk to me. Give me some feedback down below, like, comment, subscribe, you know the vibe. Hey, like that. Like, comment, like, comment, subscribe, cause you know, you know the vibe. You know, you already knew the vibe. Before you came here, you knew the vibe. You know what it was when you signed up. I bet you did. <laughs> but that's all I have for today. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed signing off. See you